Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LAW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 88. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find if a change in DB2 registry variable is effective immediately or not. So this slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to find if we change a value to a particular DB2 registry variable, whether that particular change is effectively immediately effective immediately or not. So there are a lot of registry variables like skip inserted, db2 overwrite bpf, db2 skip deleted, db2 eval and committed. Uh, I mean, you, there are like more than 30, 40 registry variables, I guess. Okay. So uh, when we change the particular uh, registry variable value, so whether that particular value, uh, the change will be considered uh, 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 immediately or does it recur in instance restart? or <coughs> there are various scenarios so sometimes the registry depending on the nature of the registry variable it will be applicable for future compiled queries so you will have to flush the uh, package cache like that so how to get this information see because there are a lot of re registry variables and each and every registry variable has some specific way of dealing with things so we can refer to the db2 uh, documentation knowledge center is there available over the internet manuals are there pdf documentations are available so we can refer them have a good reading about it and then go for setting or unsetting or changing the values so the other uh, solution that i am suggesting is we can use the db2 set command itself with the option hyphen info and you specify the variable name so when you do that it will output saying that uh, you know whether that particular registry variable when you change the, a particular value whether it will be effective immediately or not now it's not going to say whether it will be applicable for future compiled queries or it's not going to give you a detailed information but it will at least tell you that uh, whether that registry variable change is effective immediately or not so i will uh, as usual uh, go to the demo so then you will easily understand so here we have actually uh, a set of db2 uh, set commands so i have used the uh, option hyphen info you can see a lot of registry variables i'm using so i just uh, run this in one shot okay so you need not start the instance and and all like you know so here you can see that very easily see you can see here uh, db2 set hyphen info db2 workload now for this registry variable immediate change supported no right so this is the thing that I am talking about. So uh, immediate change is not supported for this registry. For DB2 processors, it is not supported. For uh, in DB2 in list to nested loop join, yes, for this, the immediate change is supported. Similarly, for uh, DB2 restore grant admin authorities, immediate change is not supported. Le so here you can see that the immediate change is supported. So there will be a lot of variables uh, registry variables so you can easily find out whether immediate change is supported for a particular variable or not and the second option is uh, actually immediate by default is like uh, even if you don't set the registry variable uh, it will behave in a default uh, way okay so that that is the one so like for example if you look at the db2 override bpf right so the default is no which means it will not be set so th there will be no uh, uh, the behavior that is that you obtain by means of the db2 override bpf is not available by default whereas uh, the db2 pmap compatibility so whatever for the purpose that you set this registry variable that that particular functionality is available by default even if you don't set i guess okay so okay so i uh, hope this information was uh, useful to you uh, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy in youtube.com uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye